a few questions. All right, everybody. It is time now for just a few questions. The Halloween edition. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Ma, 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 ma. Oh, um, no. So we got three. We got, we got two people answering questions today. We've got D. No, I'm, I'm kicking. And the stuttering st- Asian. No, he's taking too much time, man. He's got to uh, go. Okay. Takes too much time to answer the questions. Yeah. He's got, yeah. He just does his little spots here and there. Gotcha. Because he's still trying to say hello from when we started the show. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so he just got to chill for a little bit. All right. Um, oh, here we go. All right. Are you ready? Trick or treat. Trick or treat. <laughs> Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. But first, you have to answer just a few questions. All right. Hit me. Number one. Question number one. Question number one. Question number one. One. One question. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> You got an invitation to stay Halloween night in a haunted house. If you are able to stay the entire night, you will get a $500,000 shopping spree in the music store of your choice. (laughs) How much? (laughs) $500,000. Ooh. All right. If you have to flee early... You have to give Terry Crews a sponge bath while he's dressed in a sexy witch's costume. <laughs> Why is Terry Crews always coming back? <laughs> we uh, love Terry Crews around here. All right, go on. Um, <sighs> as the door, as the doors creak behind you, a clap of thunder and a flash of lightning makes you pee just a little. Just a little. Yes, just a little. <laughs> this is going to be a great night. After you are shown your room. You begin to unpack your overnight bag. A few moments later, you begin to hear scratching noises coming from your door. You slowly open the door to see what's making the noise. Is it A, a creepy black cat with yellow eyes? Is it B, a stumbling lost zombie trying to find his room because he's dead tired? C, it's Igor with a complimentary bottle of lube, and he tells you you might need it later. <laughs> or D, it's a groupie desperately trying to get out of your room after finding out that you're just the bass player and go. Oh, oh, oh see what I did oh, there. Oh, dodge and weave. Oh, dodge and weave, man. Oh. Uh. Oh man! See, you threw me <laughs> off on that one. Okay, so five hundred gram. It's close. I'm at the door. There could be a cat. Yeah. See, I feel like this is going on like a Dungeons and Dragons adventure. Yes. Okay. Like, All right. It's kind of like a Mad Libs type thing. Okay. Slash Dungeons and Dragons. Like, if depending on which answer, and that's why I can't see your pages. You're gonna branch off somewhere else. <laughs> Which means that I'm I'm very very worried about the Igor thing however i feel like it's gonna it, it could lead to good things okay right he's not telling if, you if, who right you, right yeah, exactly. why he's not gonna tell you who or why you need it you right. know you're in a haunted house you know it could be to slip out of a freaking basement window right he might something. be looking it might out not for, be for right he could be exactly he might be the mole that That's helps people exactly. escape exactly you know the cat don't cats black cats with eye with Yellow eyes or whatever turning the witches or something, something isn't like that. that. Like, isn't yeah. that well, some part of like the? That. I don't know. We weren't listening to the witches thing. We didn't no, play the witches. We, yeah, thing. we didn't do nothing with witches. Today. Yeah, there's always next year. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel like the safe question is this, and I feel like I'm on. Uh, who wants to be a millionaire right now? Um. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm, going, I'm, I'm going with Igor, dude, because I definitely don't want a zombie. All right, so, I don't want a zombie. So, you know, so, so, so B is not even an option. Okay, right. Okay, so, so cat so, think turn into a witch, or just you know black cat myth in general. I definitely wouldn't want to go to that because I'm in a haunted house. Igor, the guy, is just you know chilling, looking out for me for one way or another. Okay, blah blah blah. The groupie saying that she's just I'm just a bass player is going to be a little heart heartbreaking. To me. <laughs> 
Yeah. So I'm like the I'm like the glue right. that holds it all together, man. So you're just gonna uh, snatch so up yeah, the lube. I'm snatching up the lube and saying thanks, cuz I'm going to bed. Okay. I'm going with C. And can you send up some tissue? Right. Is there enough tissue in here, Eagle? Gotcha. No, oh, but walk like this. All right, good answer. Okay. Good answer. Question number two. Two. Two question. Ah, ah, ah. Nice. Question number two. Whew. The dinner bell has rung. Yeah. You will be expected downstairs for dinner. You grab your wallet, phone, and keys because we all need those items with everything we freaking do in life. <laughs> And head for the dining room. When you enter, you finally see who you will be spending the night with in this old house. <laughs> now, this is kind of a tricky question. Now, see, that's what I'm saying, man. I'm going to tell this, you. This could be the little branch that went off after I said Igor in the loop thing. Right. Okay. <laughs> you know? I'm going to tell you who the what you see when you enter the room, the four people that are in this okay, room. Okay, four people I see when I enter this room. Then this I'm going to tell dinner. you what those four people said to you at the table. Okay. Then you're going to have to tell me which of those people said that, and then guess who their what their name is. What? Yes. And I'll, well, well, let's do it. Ready? Okay. The first person is at the head of the table. He's a pale man in an old timey tuxedo with slicked black, with slicked back black hair. The second person is someone you assume is a burn victim because every inch of their body is covered in bandages. The third person is some burly blockhead with stoner eyes and neck piercings. The fourth person is some hairy drooling dude that you conclude must be the famous dog boy from the tabloid magazine, The Inquirer. All right, so. Igor brings out the main course and the socializing begins. Who told you what? And what do you think their name is? A, I'll go for each one of these and you just answer all of it. A, was born in the States but has visited London many moons ago. Um, Which character was that that said that? That was uh, D, the werewolf. And that was his name. So you already answered the next question. So you just said it was D, and then I say, and what's his name? And you say, the werewolf. So that's 100%. So you can get 50% or 100%. Okay. You can get the right character but the wrong name. All right. See what I'm saying? Gotcha. Next one, which is B. Even though he is a romantic, he still sucks at relationships. I'm going to go with uh, A, head of the table. Yep. And that would be uh, Count Dracula. That is correct. Ding, 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 ding. Very good, very good. C, if anyone thinks they're getting my $500,000 shopping spree, they can kiss my asp. They can kiss my ass. Uh, uh, Asp <laughs> with a P. Uh, 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 I, I, <laughs> that, would, would that be me? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Hold on a second. So who's who's saying this? The person, one of the people at the table that I described earlier. So I'm gonna guess that was. I don't think that would be the mummy. The m- would it be the mummy? Where's the mummy from? Ancient Egypt? Ah. Uh, and what snakes are in ancient Egypt? The asp. Gotcha. Ding, 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 ding. Okay. I got that one right. We're, we're cheating. Yes. <laughs> okay. Phone a friend. I do help you. <laughs> and so his name is the mummy. The mummy. And D... Uh, 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 and what's his name? That would be Frankenstein. Yes, very good. Actually, you're wrong. Uh, his name is Frankenstein. No, <laughs> it's Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein was the doctor yes. that created him. Frankenstein's monster. Correct. All right, that has been question number two. Two, two second question. Ah ah ah. Oh, look at you. Oh, see? Where's my question number three? 
Good job out of you. <laughs> Whew. Um, it's nice talking to you. That's so awesome. Well, let me look on my desktop. <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, see, you jinxed it, dude. <laughs> I did. It's exactly what happened. All right, so ah, oh, man, Martin's in the, in, in the chat room. Um, my question, question number three. three. Three, three questions. So now, so <laughs> it's off to bed. Okay. You settle in and finally drift off to sleep. At about 4 a.m., you wake up and find Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers, Jason Voorhees, and Leatherface. All standing around your bed, staring down at you. What do you do next? A. Start wondering how great you're going to look as a lampshade. B. Put your hand over your face and scream, Really? Another freaking reboot? (laughs) (laughs) C. Decide to give up music, jump out the window because you no longer need a shopping spree. Right. <laughs> or D, ask what? No pinhead? <laughs> and go! <laughs> you know what? I like where you're going with the pinhead thing. Okay? So I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gone anyway. I'm I'm gonna be I'm gonna be the sarcastic one. I'm going out being D. I'm gonna be like, "What up, no pinhead?" Yeah, I, okay, I, I like that too. I'll be okay, like, maybe like, you know, ensemble, but maybe what, be like, no pinhead? <laughs> "What up, man? No pinhead?" You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Do something like stupid like that. <sighs> because yes, you're because you're gonna become a lampshade. You already know that. <laughs> all right, all right what, what would happen if you if you woke up and you saw them and you went, "Hey, what?" No pinhead, and then all of a sudden... Hi, this is Doc Bradley, pinhead from the Hellraiser movies, and you're listening to Alien X Radio, and you'd better carry on listening to Alien X Radio, or I will tear your soul apart. Essentially, you would you crap... You were hoping I was going to choose that answer, weren't you? You? Yeah. <laughs> you would essentially crap your pants and crap tear the bag. Tear your soul apart. That was another movie that freaked me out as a kid, man. Hellraiser? Woo! Oh, for sure. But my mom let me watch that one, so see, I didn't understand that. Mom got mad at Dad for what? Let me watch for Nightmare on Elm Street. Mom lets me watch Hellraiser. Gotcha. And that has been the Halloween edition of Just, Just a, few a Few Questions. questions.